Man, it's working out real good. Yeah, it is. It's not balling up at all. Too good. Too good. Something bad's gonna happen. It's DIY perfect! What up guys, welcome back to the DMV channel. I'm Jeff Dixon, Isaiah's behind the camera, and in this episode, we're gonna paint the car again. We're gonna sand it all back down, block it out, put a little body filler on it, and then paint it all over again, and finally move past this paint nonsense. Let's get to work. We've got some here, some here. This is still a little bit low. And then we've got some low spots in there. If you remember, this is where it looked like it got hit by a forklift. I pushed it out and welded it in. It's gonna be fine. I think it's gonna turn out pretty good. Okay, I got my body work done. Turned out pretty good. Now I'm gonna put a coat of primer on it, let it dry, hopefully, and we'll sand it down and move on. We'll finish prepping the whole car. Okay, so I've got my primer on here. Turned out pretty good. Uh, you can't really tell where the forklift hit it anymore. We had a few dents, we had an antenna hole. We had some holes here where the uh, paintless dent repair was done on this car. Isaiah has been sanding and working on under the hood. How's it going, Isaiah? Good. Good, good. It's actually turning out really well. I'm happy with it. It was It's a lot less frustrating than last time we <laughs> were out in the garage doing body work. So I uh, put a little, my first layer of body filler on it. We're gonna keep working on it. And we're gonna try to get the whole car done and repainted again this weekend. And then maybe if we have time, get to this mess, so. All right, that's an update on our progress. We're gonna get back to work. Okay, I just blocked it out with 150. And you can see my original seam where I grafted this on is right there. And then this whole side really needs skin. There's a low spot. So what you do when it's like this is you essentially skim the whole thing and then skim it with body filler and then rough it in while it's a little bit tacky, it's a little bit gooey, and then block sand the thing out as it hardens. And it'll probably take two or three times before we get this right. Um, but for the most part, when we're done, I don't think you're going to be able to tell that it had a new quarter part piece. Not a whole quarter, just a little section welded on. So anyway, that's it. Let's get to it. I don't have a whole lot of body filler that I want to add in the firewall, but we do have some around here. It just looks a little shoddy, so I'm going to finger trowel this in, do a, a little bit of filler on here and a little bit across there just to make it look good. A little bit on the other side as well. Nobody's going to see this really. It's going to be mainly filled up with a motor, but there is going to be a lot of people looking under the hood of a Miata with a V8 in it because not a lot of people have seen these cars like this. So I do want it to look a little bit nice. So let's get to work on it. Okay. 
Okay. Well, that didn't turn out very good. I've, I've never actually finger troweled with a glove on. I have finger troweled a lot of welds. So you can't do it on roll bars, but if you make a weld, like if you're welding up something on a Jeep, like a bumper or something, and you want it to look good, you put the weld down there. Then you can finger trowel some Bondo in it, some body filler, sand it up and make it look like, I don't know, like it's factory formed or TIG welded or something. It just looks really good. It's finger troweling welds. Never done it with a glove on. This didn't turn out that great, but once we sand it, it's gonna look fine. Just is what it is. Okay, I sanded it out with 150. It actually turned out pretty good. It feels really good. So now I'm gonna hit it with 320 and put some primer on it. And we may have a little bit of body filler to add here and there, but I think we're probably gonna get this. So I've got it sanded in, turned out pretty good. It's tough to get in there, but put a little primer on it. Keep sanding the car, keep prepping it. Pretty soon we're gonna paint it. This is not the end of the video, but Isaiah and I are calling it a night. We have been sanding for about five or six hours, probably about six. How's it going, Isaiah? Good. Good? You still enjoying it? Yeah. We got a little body work done here. Got body work done here. Body work done here. It's turning out real good. Got the big hole that was there. Antenna holes filled in. So all in all, the car is looking great. I'm getting really excited about this. Color sanding it with 320 on top of the paint is going fantastic. Hopefully, we can finish sanding this and get a coat of paint on it tomorrow. We'll see you then. All right, we have the car all scotch brighted down. Now it's time to get taped off and get it cleaned up and ready to paint. <coughs> kind of looks like a murder to Smurf. Got Isaiah doing the fun part. A little taping. How you like doing the taping, Isaiah? It's the best part. <laughs> so, put the tape on, do a little back taping, lay the plastic over this, and it'll look good. So the main reason for the taping and plasticking it's not that we care if we get overspray on this although we would have to clean it all up and we don't really want to do that it's really to keep the dust down so to keep all this dust in here from from stirring up and blowing onto the paint so we're just going to go ahead and tape it off and keep moving forward all right Okay, this is it. This is what we showed up for. I'm gonna wipe it down with mineral spirits, 
shake up our rattle cans real good, paint this thing, and then we're gonna go jump in the pond, right? Yep. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, this is it. This is what we all showed up for. That's it. Thanks for joining us. I think it turned out pretty good. We've got a few places we got a scotch bright to get out. Some runs, maybe scrape them a little bit with the razor blade. But I think it turned out pretty good. It looks pretty good. And that's it for a budget paint job. We've got to paint the doors, paint the trunk lid, and get back to work on the inside suspension motor. We got a bunch of suspension parts. We'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us. Glad you made it to the DMV. We'll see you next time.